Stangibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations. I'm going to talk a little bit more about this unit called the EFHW8010, uh, end fed half wave 80 through 10 meters is what that stands for. It's manufactured by a company called My Antennas in Zephyr Hills, Florida. Website myantennas.com. You can find a review in the March 2016 issue of QST, pages 52 and 53. What it is basically is a 49 to 1 un un transformer designed to, to transfer a um, 52 ohm coaxial cables characteristic impedance to a purely resistive load of 49 times 52 which turns out to be 2548 ohms um, that would be uh, what you would see as a purely resistive impedance supposedly at 80 meters if you had a half wavelength wire somewhere on the order of 2500 ohms is what you would expect to find with a straight wire antenna measuring 130 feet it's a half wavelength or any integral multiple of that uh, frequency 3.5 megahertz so any integral multiple would be 7 .0, 10.5 14.0 17.5 21.0 24.5 and uh, What's uh, then 28 megahertz? Uh, and uh, most of these are close to amateur bands or in amateur bands. This uh, would be the bottom of the 80 meter band, the bottom of the 40 meter band. This would be close to the 30 meter band, but not, not right in it. 20 meters close to the, um, what is it you call it, the 17 meter band, close to the 12 meter band, I forgot, 21 megahertz, 15 meter band, 10 meter band. The idea is to have basically an, an all band HF antenna that doesn't require adjustment and is not an automatic antenna tuner as such uh, without the fragile components of that type of arrangement. Fragile meaning electrically fragile, subject to electrostatic charge build up on the antenna. This uh, particular unit would tend to discharge that because it goes through a coil in the on on to ground, presumably. Anyway, I've been through all that in a couple of other videos. The ideal arrangement is a straight wire to a tall support like this, a straight 130 foot length of wire. Although you can have a center support and run the antenna in a configuration something well you know like that tall support in the center and according to the manual uh, from what I hear you can well now I'm erasing a whole bunch of stuff I just hate hate it when it does this to me well anyway you get the general gist of it, even with these extraneous marks. <laughs> uh, this program, there's something about this program that doesn't like me. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Anyway, straight 130 foot length of wire. Now, how did that 130 get down here? Beats the H out of me. Anyway, a viewer is wondering about that zigzagging of the antenna. If you want to zigzag this antenna around, um, the supposedly you can do that. You can run an antenna that, um, let's make this uh, 
pen settings, I want red for the antenna. Zigzagging it all around like, you know, like you would do if you wanted to install it around your house, around your attic. Look at all this, it reappears. Oh, this is just a magic program. It's, it's a, a sorcerer program. Hmm. Either that or I've got magical powers that make it behave that way. Oh, W1GV, I've been around for so long, this thing just wants to make fun of me. I'll bet you do too. Anyway, what if you do zigzag the antenna all around? What's going to happen? It's still 130 feet long overall. But if, if you zigzag it, the more you deviate from a straight line, the, the greater the difference is going to be between what you would see with a straight 130 foot length of wire. And by difference, I mean you're not going to see that purely resistive high uh, impedance necessarily anymore. You'll see a fairly high impedance, although it'll get lower and lower the more you scrunch the antenna up. The resonant frequencies will all change. The standing wave ratios will all change. These numbers for resonant frequencies will no longer be quite exactly accurate, and the more you zigzag it, the more they're going to deviate from this, and the worse this thing is going to perform. It's going to get farther and farther away from the ideal case. There's just no getting around that. that um, the, uh, now, I don't know what the manual says because I don't have one of these, and certainly you can get away with some zigzagging of an antenna like this, but you should expect a compromise in the performance over what you would get in the ideal case, which, if I dare mess around with this anymore, here's your tree. I suppose I can get rid of some of these numbers, some of all of this garbage here. Clean it up a little bit. Mop it up. It, it'll mop it up, some of it. Some of the garbage will stay, some of it will go. But what you really want for your antenna here is this. A 130 foot long straight length of wire starting near the ground where the unit is and ending up at the top of some tall support. That's the ideal case. And that's uh, what this thing is really designed for. Here in the Black Hills of South Dakota, or the Black Holes of South Dakota, United States of Antennas, we have plenty of tall ponderosa pines that I could run a 130-foot wire up to. The only problem is none of them are on my property, and I'm not sure my neighbors would be really happy with a 130-foot wire going from my mailbox up to the top of one of their ponderosa pine trees. They might let me do it, and they might smile and say, well, that, that's cool, Stan, and then go in their house after they slam the door and say, son of a sea cook, that ham radio. Now, my next-door neighbor actually lo loves ham radio operators. He got into trouble one time and, and actually searched around. He drove around looking for a ham radio antenna because he knew a ham radio operator would live at that house and could communicate, uh, I think, back to one of his relatives in some other state when communications were out. So, you know, do your neighbor a favor, and your neighbor might do a favor for you. I still don't think I'd do this, though, uh, because one ought not to take advantage of one's neighbor's good nature. Radio ham or not, 
Stan Gibalisco signing off. W1GV saying 73. From what you can make of this, strive for the ideal case. Isn't that what we should always strive for anyway? Oh well. In my case, I'd always strive for it on CW, and at the end of a video, I would always say, in my native fist, da 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 da